Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over creating libraries. Now, in previous videos, we talked about actually using the libraries. Now, let's see if we can actually start making them. So, this is just example. What I did was new project, example, console app. Okay, this is Dart 1.8. The reason I'm saying that is the initial, this page right here can look very different. It has looked very different since Dart 1.0, so just for future knowledge itself. So if we look at this, packages, those are our libraries, right? Bin, and these are our local libraries. These are what we used up here. Many of these are what we use, our package manager, the pub, right, through pub spec, right click, pub get or just double click on it and it's right here okay so these are many of those packages themselves but we're not going to talk about that we're going to talk about creating our own very simple right click new file we'll call it um, first library dot dart that's it we're done okay that's the library and not completely though so First library, notice the syntax, first of all. Um, it's not camel case. For libraries, packages, what we use is the underscore itself. First underscore library, if there's another word, underscore, you don't want to go more than like three words, so try to keep it descriptive but brief. Here we say library, first library. And then we put whatever we want to put here. Okay, say... Uh, let's just make it nice and simple. Int a equals one. Okay, that's all I want to do. So what do I do in our main program? We go here and say import, right? Just like before, it's going to be a package. And then where is it? Right here, first library. And you click on it and you're done. So if you want to, you could say print... Uh, what are our options here? Oh, that's right. A. Let's go ahead and print A. What is that going to give us? 1. Because we defined it to be 1 here. Now if we say 100, and we go back here and we run it, it's going to be 100. Alright? And we can add all sorts of functions, classes, and anything we want inside of here. So, now why am I creating a library, and why don't I just do it right inside of here? So, int A equals 1. Actually, I would have to put that up here, right? I could do that. It's going to be one. Again, it goes to the local library first before it goes to this library right here. How about if I did this, though? Right there. What's going to happen? Same thing. It's going to look to the local variable, excuse me, before it goes to the non-local variable, I guess, in the associated library. Delete this, it'll still work, but it will be 100. All right? So the reason why you want to separate things in libraries is that it, if you have a bunch of functions or classes inside of here that are related to themselves, it would be easier just to look at each separate file than it would be to look in at lines and lines and lines of code. So it makes it nice and easy. So if you have a problem with, hey, this um, function, this, and function that, and, and it goes on and on and on, you'll have to go down there as opposed to simply clicking on the list right here. However, as you can probably imagine, you run into two problems. Well, number one is maybe you're going to have 50 functions and 50 libraries. Okay, so it's just going to go on and on and on with the list of libs. Um, by the way, I think I mentioned it has to be named lib. It can't be named anything else. So um, under this particular folder. So I, I don't. I think I said that before, but just in case. I don't think you can rename this. Um, so, so that's almost like if you had 50 libraries, each containing one function or one class, that's almost like, um, in English, a very choppy sentence or choppy paragraph. You have, but like, the car is nice. The car is brown. I like the car. 
the car goes fast. It, it, it's very choppy and it's very hard to actually read the code because you have to go here, then here, then here. Um, as opposed to if you have a very long sentence and it just goes on and on without any end because you don't really know your punctuation and you just put commas when you should be putting periods and you just don't have an end and people read it and get a little confused because they don't know where the subject is or the verb is and and, and so on. So for run on not just run on sentences, but very complicated sentences, English can be very hard to understand. It's the same concept here. Don't make these libraries too choppy but don't make them too long either. Where is the line you draw? I don't really know. I think it's more of an art than anything else that just kind of like English, you know, just speak reasonable sentences. Don't be too choppy. You'll annoy people. Don't be too long winded. You'll be annoying as well. All right. So that's it in a nutshell, but we can do a few other things here. Let's say, for example, I wanted to do a pow functions. Okay. Int or actually double b equals um, log 55. All right. What if I wanted to do that? Function is not defined. So I would have to import, right? Dart math. Remember that? So that is correct. A library can import. It can import other libraries themselves. So it'll be accessible right inside of here. However, keep in mind that anything you import here will stay local. So in other words, let's clarify this. If I say print B, what's going to happen? It's going to give me this value of B right inside of here. But what if I wanted to do pow or, or, or just log, let's just keep it simple. Log 40, function log is not defined. Okay, so just because an, a library is imported into first library, it doesn't mean it gets imported into here as well. What if I wanted it to? Okay, so if I say, well, I want Dart math here, but I also want every library that imports or every program that imports first library I want it to have Dart Math. You have to do the export. And you can import and export as many libraries as you want. I don't think there's any limit. So right here, even though you did not import Dart Math, because this is being exported, first library, and you imported first library here, you will get all the libraries available for Dart Math. Okay? So here it is known. Before there was an error, now I can run log even though I did not import Dart Math because I imported it through the first library itself. Okay? Hope that was helpful. That is libraries in a nutshell. It's a lot more complicated from there, but we'll go over them step by step. Thank you.